Well, they entered this year's Melody Grand Prix as one of the most anticipated acts in the entire lineup, and now they've won the ticket to represent Norway in Malmo at the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. Gotze are bringing a unique blend of progressive rock, electronic music, and Norwegian folklore with their song Ulvahem. <laughs> Norway's folk traditions have been the main source of inspiration for Gotze ever since they formed as a band. And for this song, it's based on a medieval ballad that currently only exists as text because the music has since been lost to time. We actually heard that version in the semi-final. For the final, they needed to rewrite it so that it would be eligible for Eurovision because the lyrics need to be completely original. But they were able to maintain the original story of the song. And to describe it, I think it's best to just leave it in the words that the band uses themselves. The song is a story of a young maiden that undergoes a series of injustices. But by upholding justice and goodness, even in the toughest trials, she triumphs over evil and breaks the curse placed upon her. Another thing that they make note of is the chanting that you hear at the start of the song. It's actually a herding call that's meant to travel through the mountains in order to call back livestock, and they use that as the foundation of their chorus. <laughs> Now, I love hearing bands describe their process this way, and I see a lot of parallels with groups like Goe from Ukraine, who are also known for tapping into Ukrainian culture and folklore in order to build the narratives around their music. And having that as a central part of their identity is part of what makes their music appealing. And so the end result is something that's very easy to identify as Norwegian, not only because of how it sounds, but also because of how it looks, how they've evoked images of the greenery, the landscapes, and the northern lights. It's all very, very effective. Now, when talking about Norway at modern Eurovision, they have a pretty good track record. Often their entries are fan favorites, and they usually end up finishing in the top 10 as well. But what tends to happen is that the songs score much better with the televote than with the jury. And there are some people who simply think that Norway is just overlooked every year, but there are others that really think that the songs are too simple, depending too much on novelty, and trying really, really hard to appeal to the TikTok audience. In my case, I, I kind of go both ways on the songs themselves. Some of them have really liked and others I didn't care for, but what tends to be my main problem with Norway is how they approach staging, because with the last three entries, the performers were dressed in what are essentially Halloween costumes, and they didn't do much else within the visual presentation to further the storytelling. They're doing a lot of heavy lifting with their performer and how they look. With this entry, this feels like a breath of fresh air, both visually and musically. It's a more mature style of song than we typically see. It has the right amount of theatrical elements to it, and the performance itself is really energetic and just beautiful to look at. Now, when talking about success at Eurovision, we've already covered a lot of areas where this song is doing really, really well in. And so, even though we don't have all the songs right now, I consider this to be a very likely qualifier. I have a hard time thinking of what other entries could be chosen that would be a direct competition to this and have this level of impact. When talking about the grand final, I'm not so sure that this would be a different story for Norway than what we've seen in the past, although I do think that this probably has the most jury appeal out of any of the entries that we've seen in the last five years. I'm just thinking about some of the conversations that were had after last year's results about the jury's preference for pop music, and so it's possible that this song would be overlooked by some of those juries for not having as many pop music qualities as other songs that we were expecting. Despite that possibility, I think this is an entry to be really excited about. I do see this in the top 10, but again, it's still very early in the season. There's a lot more to find out. And for that reason, I hope that you subscribe to the channel so that we can keep chatting about national selections and Eurovision as it approaches. Let me know in the comments how you feel about Ulvahem. How do you like this song when compared to some of the other Norwegian entries? And do you think that this is going to do well in Malmo? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.